Hi students, I welcome back everyone in this video session. In this video, we are going to see Max Unit 5 Time. Time and type is wait for none. So, use the time preciously. Let us move to the video and watch it. Unit 5 Time Let us know what does mean by time. A time is a measure in which events can be ordered from the past through the present into the future and it also measures the duration of every events and also the intervals between them. If you want to know the time we will see in a clock otherwise in a watch. First we are going to see in a clock. In a clock we have 12 numbers that is which starts from 1 and it has a 3 hands. Let us know what are the 3 hands denotes. In this clock we are going to see which is a hour hand and which is a minute hand. In a clock always the minute hand will be bigger in size that is called a long hand. It always will be bigger in size. The hour hand will be always short in size or smaller in size. Let us know the red color is called as minute hand that is bigger in size. The green color is called as hour hand which is called as short hand. In a clock we have already seen that is 12 numbers will be there. Each number denotes 5. We all know skip counting by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 16. Is the same like we will remember always the 5 tables for seeing a time. Let us see the time one by one. If we want to see a time, we have to know what does mean by AM and what does mean by PM. Let us know what does mean by AM. AM is nothing but anti-meridian. PM is nothing but it is called post-meridian. AM and PM are both all Latin words which is used in a 12 hour clock system to represent which is the noon time and which is the afternoon time. They are also represented as AM and PM. Let us know expandly about AM. AM is nothing but anti-meridian which means before midday that means before 12 o'clock that is not afternoon before afternoon is called as am and pm expanded as post meridian which means after midday can you understand children in a clock we have different types of clocks is in some clocks we will have a numbers in some clocks we will have a roman numbers so don't get confused you all know the roman numbers we already studied you already studied in a fourth standard is the same thing we are going to see can you see the blue color clock is it denotes what time now it's three o'clock because the hour hand is in three the minute hand is in twelve so it denotes three o'clock clock. The next one we are going to see how to see a time is can you see the first picture is which is a bigger hand it's a minute hand it always will be is there in a 12 is the smaller hand is in 6 so the time is 6 o'clock if you see the next picture both the hands are in 12 then what is the time is it's a 
12 o'clock. We already studied in a fourth standard. This is a recalling session. We have already seen how to see the time. Yes. Let us try some examples. Yes. Can you see the first picture? Where the hour hand is in? Yes. It is in 4. The minute hand is in 12. So what the time? It is 4 o'clock. And next one. The time is 10 o'clock. Third picture is 6 o'clock. Clock. Fourth picture, 3 o'clock. And next one is 8 o'clock. Very good. The last one we already seen. It's 12 o'clock. We have already studied how to see a time. And next thing, in the time itself, we are going to see what is quarter past. If you take a circle, it will be divided into four segments. That is quarter Half, quarter to and whole. Yes. Can you see the green color circle? Yes. The shaded part is called as quarter. What is that? It is called as quarter. Let us know related to that. We are going to see what is quarter past. If you see in a quarter, it always denotes in 3. It always denotes in 3. Can you understand? Is yes, the minute hand is always will be there in 3. So it denotes quarter. So we are going to see what is the first one. Quarter past 1. Is yes, the second one is quarter past 5. The third one is quarter past 11. Quarter past 6. The next one is Quarter past 12. And the last one is quarter past 8. So the time is 8.15. The next one we are going to see half past. As you can see the picture there, green color, which is a shaded position, green color fully. It's called as half. If you take a circle, it is called as half a part. Is the next one we are going to see what is mean by half past is the always the minute hand will be there in the six it is half can you remember is if it is there in minute hand is in six then it is called as half is half past two the first picture denotes half past two that is two thirty what is the time now 2.30. The next time is 8.30 that is half past 8. The next one is 9.30 that is half past 9. Is the same like you are going to do the remaining three sums. The next one we are going to see what is quarter 2. We have already seen about quarter past don't confuse with quarter to and quarter past. We have already seen that is quarter past which is a shaded only quarter size. Is The next one we are going to see quarter to. It is 3 by 4 it will be covered. That means 3 part of the circle will be covered. That is called as quarter 2. What is the time? Is Let me know the first one is the time is going to be 1 o'clock. So, it is quarter to 1. What is that? It is quarter to 1. The second picture denotes it is quarter to 2. It is going to be 2 o'clock. So, what is the time now? 1.45. So, it is going to be 2 o'clock. The third picture denotes it is 2.45. It is quarter to 3. It is going to be 3 o'clock so it is denoted as quarter to 3. Yes, I have given some of the example related to quarter past, half past and quarter to. Yes, go through all these things you will know clearly what is meant by half past, quarter past and quarter to and how to see a time. 
in our daily life we will follow the time that is 12 hour format we will say it starts from 12 am till it denotes at ends at 11 am again it starts from 12 pm it ends in 11 pm the same like we will see the time but in the railway station we will follow hour format that is 24 hour format they will not denote as that is am or pm they will denote as 1 o'clock as 13 and 2 o'clock as 14 it's go on the same thing can you understand children the picture which i have shown is an example for 12 hour format and 24 hour format you can go through this picture clearly in the time we are going to add 4 hours 30 minutes and 2 hours 45 minutes is put a column that is hours and minutes separately in hours we are going to write 4 and minutes we are going to see 30 is the same like the second one 2 hours and 45 minutes is let us add minutes first 0 plus 5 it's 5 3 plus 4 is 7 let us add the hours 4 plus 2 6 is the next thing we are going to see 75 minutes equal to 1 hour 15 minutes we have already know 60 minutes equal to 1 hour so 60 equal to 1 hour balance 15 minutes was there that is 1 hour 15 minutes so the time is 7 hour 15 minutes the next one we are going to see word problem that is related to subtraction ram works on his computer from morning 10 o'clock to evening 3:30 what is the total time he works in his computer and how long does he works in his computer is let us do the solution ram works in his computer at evening what is the time till evening it's 3:30 pm he starts the work at morning that is 10 o'clock no minutes it's only hour is put a column separately hours and minutes is first we are going to see minutes 0 minus 0 it's 0 3 minus 0 it's 3 let us move to the hour 5 minus 0 5 1 minus 1 it is 0 can you understand so the time is 5 hours 30 minutes ram works 5 hours 30 minutes in his computer the next word problem krishna goes to his village he travels 4 hours 35 minutes in a bus and 1 hour 55 minutes in two wheeler what is the total time he travels for always if you see in a total that is called as addition can you remember is the solution is he traveled in a bus that is 4 hours and 35 minutes he travels in two wheeler that is 1 hour 55 minutes write the separately minutes and hours is now we are going to add 5 plus 5 10 carry over the 1 is 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 it's 9 so the minutes is 90 minutes we got let us move to the hour 4 plus 1 equal to 5 as we already know 60 minutes equal to 1 hour so we have here 90 minutes see the blue color box we will know detailly is 90 minutes equal to 60 plus 30 minutes that is 
60 minutes equal to 1 hour. We have already have 30 minutes extra. That is 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6 hours and 30 minutes. Krishna travels totally in 6 hours and 30 minutes. He travels totally 6 hours and 30 minutes. Let us try the time. The boy denotes what time? It's 9 o'clock. Very good. The next one is 2.30. That is half past. Yes. Next one, the girl denotes it's 11.15. It's 11.15. The last one, it denotes 9.25. What is the time? It's 9.25. Five. The last one we are going to see how the time denotes in the morning until the midnight. It starts from the morning, noon, evening, night and midnight. It ends in the midnight. I hope you all understood about time. Go through the time properly. This chapter is very very important. Till you go for the higher classes. Thank you students.